everyone, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. I thought I'd do a little analysis here of Cree. This is gapping live. This is an actual live gap that's happening right now because the trading day is over. It's 5.07, okay? So you're seeing the gap here. The stock closed at 58.09 and is gapping down to 53.90. So this is what I do. I look at the gap, the live gap. And I rate the gap. Now, I didn't rate this gap yet. I, I usually don't rate them at night. I usually rate them in the morning even if I see them at night because I like to be clear and fresh and not just, you know, have anything around me from the whole day. And I think, really, I'm on my toes in the morning. So, but you could rate the gaps at night. And depending on what time zone you're in, you might actually be better off doing that. If your mind is fresh at night, you might be better rating the gaps at night. Anyways, this baby is gapping down, and it's a pretty good sized gap here. I'm just looking at this. Where was the close? Where was it? 5809. This is a good gap. This is a really interesting chart. So this was a top watch. I thought this would gap down. I, I called this to gap down too. It's like I called Netflix to gap up. It, it's an interesting chart though here. The stock had a beautiful bullish gap here, rallied. This is back in the beginning of 2013 last year. Had another bullish gap, held. Look how beautifully this held. This is the target on this one. This is a big target tomorrow. Well, here's the first target. I don't know where this is going to open. I have no idea. If this was, if we started trading right now tomorrow morning, this would be the first target. But I actually think this is going to come all the way down here. Wow. So pretty something here. Anyways, so this had this bullish gap. Continuation gap here that happened back in March of 2013. Had a nice rally. Stock is doing great, rallying with the market, making new highs, gapped up again here. Look at this gap, beautiful gap. I mean, this, some of the bullish gaps on this were beautiful last year. And you could have played them all, every single one. Look at this one. Ran up to new highs after that gap. Now, this is definitely significant. And the chart broke, but it didn't last. And then this happened. And then all of a sudden, the chart's back in uptrend. Back in uptrend immediately. Did not make new highs, did it matter? No. Still in a nice rally, wasn't an uptrend here, then it moved and had a beautiful move. But then it gapped down again. That was not good. This was a sign right here. Typically when something gaps down, well, just I'm just using an example. Because this gapped down and then did a correction, this should have held. The fact that it didn't means this is real. And now we have this, and this is this is this is actually really lower here now. Geez, I didn't really look at the targets earlier today until now. Yep, this is a watch for tomorrow. So really, really uh, nice gap on Cree that I have no idea where it's going to be opening tomorrow morning. And, and, and this thing is going to play play out. I mean, this look at it now. Look at this right now here. Look at the volume in this right now. Here's a one-minute chart. Look at all that. Woo! There's the gap happening. Back the low here, 52.05. Let's just go find that. This is a really good gap. This is a huge target. I don't know where this opens tomorrow, but this thing could fall off a planet. So Cree is a watch tomorrow, and this chart is very interesting. This is this kind of action. This this back in here. This is this is like the end of last year. Yeah, from August to December-ish, you know, like the fallish, and here in October. This this whole thing here is very significant. But if you were long Creole last year, you really got paid. It, I mean, it had a beautiful rally. It more than doubled in price buying the bullish gap there back here that happened at the beginning of the year. And this was a gap that really ran hard and strong. But, you know, nothing goes in one direction forever. That's why you have to watch things. That's why you have to learn how to read gaps. Because if you don't know how to read gaps and you only read pivots for support or resistance, you know, you're going to get hurt and stuff because things do not continue in the same direction forever. They just don't. So very interesting look in this Cree here. Nice, nice, nice bearish gap for tomorrow. Don't know how it rates. I'm going to wait till the morning to rate it. 
Targets in this look really juicy though, although I have no idea where this is going to really open in the morning. That's the question. And it's going to make a difference where it goes, the targets, how it's going to set up, if it's going to be clean or, or what it's going to do. But Cree moves. Cree is a mover. So you got to watch out for it. Anyways, this is Militia Wish of SocksWish.com. Have a great evening, everyone. Bearish watch, gap down, golden gap for tomorrow's Cree. I don't know the rating. I'll look at it in the morning because I really have no idea where this is going to be gapping in the morning. It's at 54.19 now. It could be... It could be anywhere by tomorrow morning, so we'll have to wait and see. But a nice, nice gap with a big target as of right now, if it was opening and going to go and trade to the downside. Good bearish gap, good looking chart in this thing. We'll watch it tomorrow. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in the upcoming gap class, learn how to rate these gaps and find these gaps and pick these gaps and play these gaps and take the entries and figure out the targets. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, April 26th and 27th. Have a great night, everybody. Email me at melissa at thesockswish.com.